CC wants to flex his Mona. Wait, is this DPS? Wait a minute. 69, 152? Okay, that crit is just insane with no crit weapon. Wow! You went four emblem on her. Wait, what timepiece? Damn, your Mona eats better than my Raiden. That's crazy. Bro's emblem pieces on his Mona are better than my Raiden's emblem pieces. What the actual... F oh, wait, this build is... How are you doing this? I'll never be like you guys, saddies. Him. What if I flexed all eight of my other emblem builds at once? CC, there's no way you have eight full emblem builds. I said eight other. Does that mean you have nine? Hey YouTube frogs, quick disclaimer before we begin the review video. I use abbreviations to help describe build strength. CV is crit value, which is crit rate times two plus crit damage. And SV is stat value, which is crit value plus additional stats that are relevant. Examples include energy recharge, attack defense HP percent, and elemental mastery at a conversion of 20 to 5%. As an example, an emblem feather on Yala that has 10.9 crit rate, 21.8 crit damage, and 6.5 recharge would have a crit value of 43.6 and a stat value of 50.1 because we would include the recharge for Yalan. For Honkai Star Rail, crit value is 20% lower per piece. So where you normally get 7.8 crit damage as a max roll in Genshin, Star Rail's max crit damage roll is 6.4 crit damage. However, there are 6 pieces in Star Rail versus 5 in Genshin, and the main stats in Star Rail are usually slightly higher, so the rolls combine about the same. These are purely to compare artifact and relic quality, and are inherently inaccurate when it comes to describing the true strength of a completed build. So, don't take these numbers as law, they are just a way for me to assess builds when reviewing them. Enjoy the vid. CZ got thank you for the 12,000 of bits. He paid $15 for eight flexes. Why is your Aloy on emblem? Why is your Sara on emblem? Doesn't Sara use emblem? Well, usually Sara is a support character. So if you were to pair her with like Hyper Raiden, you would run like four I piece noblesse. Button, rave usually. Time, rave time. But if you have C6, then her burst actually does decent damage because it gains extra damage. Okay, Xia, we're gonna go backwards, okay? We're gonna go Xing Qiu, and then we're gonna use Xiangling last. Jade Cutter R5, four piece emblem, 33, 122. That's fine. Beidou, 37, 114. So these are all about 1.4, 1.5 builds, right? Sara, 1.4, slightly weaker. Aloy, why the f is your Aloy stronger than the previous three characters? You're never gonna use this character! When are you, why would she have better artifacts? <sighs> okay. What the f Wait, chat, this changes everything. This actually changes everything. That is a ridiculous amount of recharge. What the f These artifacts are definitely way better than I gave them credit for. Okay, the Raiden, the, the Beta build has 94 recharge. The Sara build has 84 recharge. The Aloy has... You still have so much. How good are your pieces to have this much on every build? Your Yelon. Are you telling me that your Yelon has worse pieces than all other four characters because the recharge is... Oh, wait, never mind. This is fine. This is fine. No, it's equal because this is HP timepiece. I'm corned. I'm corned. I'm corned. I'm corned. If this were ER timepiece, it'd be plus 51. That's fine. It's the same thing. Uh, we also don't know what the circlet is. Oh! This changes everything. Again, that changes everything. This is an HP build. Will okay. That oh, okay, dude. Raiden, these nuts. <laughs> Bro, 1.75 Raiden Shogun. Your timepiece is also on set. Dehya! Wait, your Dehya actually has crazy pieces. 86.8 recharge, 38, 131. So your Dehya's build is better than every of the other ones. Because it has the same amount of recharge, but better CV. And then Xiangling! The final character! Why does your Xiangling have the best CV out of all your characters? Can you explain why? Why is your Xiangling... Why does your Xiangling have the best crit ratio out of all eight of your fucking... You guys have to remember that CC Kun is this type of whale, okay? CC Kun is this type of whale. You do not question... The CC Kun weapon choice, okay? This guy has R5 of Engulfing Lightning. So she basically gets 105 recharge extra. It's time to check all the artifacts, chat. Chat, the stats on this Xingqiu. Holy f that's hot. 
It's because of the weapon. 83 crit rate because of the Jade Cutter. 170 crit damage and 200. <laughs> Bro has 243% recharge without an, a recharge weapon. How ridiculous is that, chat? No recharge weapon. 243 recharge. All right, what are your pieces? Okay. Stereotypical 35 with 11 recharge. So it's a 46 roll value. This is a 26 CV with 22 recharge, so it's 48 roll value. Not even that bad, chat. I see. It's a sh piece. I respect it. 63 flat defense, baby. Okay. What the f is that? What is this, dude? When did you get this and why do you have it? This is the onset nymph's, nymph's dream. What's the what's the roll value on this chat? It's 15 plus 12, 27 plus 18 reach 19 recharge is 46. This is 50 roll value. Okay. Mask. Wow. Chat 19 recharge, 18 recharge, recharge on set, 22 recharge, 11 recharge. This Xing Show is eating well. Holy f Beidou. Let's see your Beidou. Beidou stats with the serpent spine. Beautiful. 70, 164 with 213 recharge as well. Damn, your builds are cooking, dude. Your builds are, are cooking. Isn't the ER overkill? I think the reason why CC Gun has it this way is because it's a no recharge weapon. And then Solo Hydro probably should do fine. I don't think it's overkill. And CC Gun is a, is a type of person who does not yoink artifacts. So he'd have to farm for new ones to get better stuff. Okay, standard 42 CV. This is pretty mid. Is this one of the lowest value feathers we've seen? The CV is 25. This is 40 roll value with double mineral recharge and double mineral crit damage. And three line. Pretty ass. Timepiece. Funny thing is all these timepieces are still still better CV than mine. That's insane. Electro Goblet. Okay, your Beto probably has the weakest pieces out of all your builds right now. They still have the same amount of recharge though. Okay, Sara. Skyward Harp R5, 4 emblem, 80, 175 with good attack and 200 recharge. Dude, I don't know how you do this, man. Standard piece, 38 CV, 6 recharge. Uh, standard piece again, about 40 CV. No crit rate, but still good rolls. Electro Goblet, 16 recharge, 9 crit rate. Okay, so your star has got some also mid pieces, but it's you, this is your third out of eight builds. The builds only get better as we go further. Aloy, 84, 154, 201.6 recharge. Holy, f this guy plays Genshin Impact. How do you have the luxury to use this on your Aloy? That you have a greater than 50 roll value flower four line on your f Aloy. The feather is 2.728 with 15 attack. Okay, not even that bad. Okay, it seems like we ha we have some struggle pieces on the time pieces. Crowd Goblet is... What is this flower doing here? All your other pieces are whatever, but then this flower is XD. All right, chat. The final four builds. Yelon. Aqua R5. Triple crown. 73, 241. HP circlet. You know, the funny thing, Chad, is my build looks like this with, that, with a crit circlet. Oh my god. Look at that, Chad. What in tarnation is this beauty of a three-line piece? The high rolls on this piece are insane. It's 45 CV as a three-line and it has 6.5 recharge for a 51 roll value piece. What the hell, dude? Feather. 43 CV, low roll crit damage, perfect substats, juicy. HP time beast with three line, 33 with 11 recharge. Your goblet still could have one more roll, buddy. One day. Dude, this piece is insane. Like, what the hell is that? This is the same thing as the flower, but better. Like, can you imagine? It's the same rolls as the flower, but has one more recharge roll. And like, it has attack percent. Should I just imagine if this was a goblet? If this had like hydro damage bonus and it had these substats, you would cream your pants. Because this would be the first 60 roll value artifact that we would see, right? Like imagine if this was hydro goblet and like we, the character was an attack scaler. This would be 45 CV, 10, 5 recharge is, is, is 61, 61 roll value. 
Uh, Raiden Shogun. Engulfing Lightning R5, Four Piece Emblem, C6, Triple Crown. This Raiden has the second best CV from CC Cleanse Artifacts. Okay, standard 42. 48, it seems. I see. You still suffer from the curse of the timepiece. That crit rate is 2% lower than it could have been. But overall, still very nice. Definitely lower on the crit rate. Goblet. 37 CV with 11 recharge offset. Mass 27 crit damage. Yeah, this feather is pushing it up to the ceiling with that 48. Dehia! Bacon of the Red Sea! 77 183. 206 of recharge. Actually busted Dehia. Wow, that's actually crazy! 33 with 18 recharge is 51 roll. Roll value. What does your Yellon use that you don't use that on her? Oh, I see. Timepiece, 13 HP and low roll crit rate, but otherwise pretty solid. Pyro Goblet, okay. 10, 12, 10. Damn. All right, uh, then we have the final build, chat. The Opa Xiangling. The character with 76, oh my God, I know this. I know this build. 80, 160 without a crit weapon. 190 recharge, 322 EM. There's nothing wrong with the attack, by the way, chat, because you guys have to remember this is R5 engulfing lightning. The pieces. Jesus Christ. Ah, Shibar, dude. Okay, 47 C. We're gonna start off with 47 with the 17 crit rate piece. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Everything's okay. Okay, a four line. Almost perfect, but it rolls flat defense. So it's 43 CV. Okay, 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 okay. Time piece. Damn, if only this was higher rolled. EM main stat time beast with 30 CV and 10 recharge. Okay. Wow. Imagine being this cool to have a pyro goblet with 40 CV on emblem. That's crazy, dude. When will this happen to me? And then a perfect mask with 40 EM and 30 crit damage to seal the cake. This is CC Kun. Not shown here is Mona, by the way. Mona also has a build. Chat, I want you to remind you guys that we are going to be reviewing his full account again for another big review, okay? But this is something that I think is insane that I want YouTube to see. That's that he has nine complete emblem sets with decent stats. Here's also the kicker, chat. He has... One, two, three, four, five, six onset ER timepieces with like usable stats. Damn, CC. Yeah, I could really use one of those, man. Seven. Is it because Mona has one? Because Mona? I see. He has seven onset emblem ER timepieces. Thank you for letting me showcase your insane character roster, CC.